Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Terry Harris and welcome to TCC Online. And today we continue in our seven part series with part two and the title is Bleak, Better, and Best. And we are in the book of 2 Kings in the 20th chapter and Hezekiah is in the phase of bleak. He's just been told he's going to die. It is a thus says the Lord, and it is from the number one prophet in the world at that time, Isaiah. And it's the icing on the cake. After he's told he's going to die, Isaiah doubled down and says, and you will not live. Wow. Bleak bleak, and bleak. All right. So the word of encouragement is if whatever you might be going through, I don't know if it can be as bleak as this. Okay. Second Kings chapter 20 and verse 2. It states, Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept, and his weeping was painful. All right. So he gets the news, and now... He knows. Joe can't help me. Sue can't help me. Bill can't help me. There's, there's no human being can help me right now. Okay. The prophet of prophets has given me a thus says the Lord, I'm going to die. So what does Hezekiah do? You notice that the Bible says that he turned his face to the wall. What does that mean? That he blocked everything else out. That he, if you will, sat down in a chair and got face to face with the wall, symbolizing I can't see anything else. Okay? I, nobody else can help me. The only one that can come through for me now is God himself. Because it is God that has pronounced my death sentence. All right? Are you hearing me? This is why I call this bleak. God pronounce the death sentence. This wasn't a judge that could get appealed. This was God. <laughs> okay? And so, and, and, and of course, God sent his number one messenger, so Isaiah says, this is all I can do is go to God. Next, besides praying, I want you to take a look at what he said. In the prayer, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. He says, Lord, remember any of you out there in a bleak situation, and if you've been serving the Lord, tell him, remember, remember, I've served you. I've done this, and a lot of people says, oh, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Because Isaiah, later on, he's, what does he say when you pray? Put me in remembrance, says the Lord. Remind me of what, you, what you've done. Okay? Talk to me. Put me in remembrance. And I want you to know, 42 years of ministry, I've used this. I have put the Lord in remembrance so many times. Remember, okay, this is Terry here. <laughs> we, we, we've been together a while. Remember what I've done for you. I love you. I've served you. I've sacrificed for you. Remember, okay, later on in that same prayer where Isaiah says, put uh, God in remembrance, he also says, plead with him. Put me in remembrance, says the Lord. Let us, what? Plead together. All right? So Hezekiah here, he is praying scripture. 
And that's what I encourage you to do if you are in a bleak situation because this prayer worked. Hello. And God is the same what? Yesterday, today, and forever. If, if a prayer from the Old Testament by a believer worked then, God says it will work now. I am what? The same back then, today, and when? And 30 years later in your life, 20 years later in your life, okay, I'm still doing the same thing. I'm still answering the same prayers. The same type of prayers still work as long as you believe. All right, we'll wrap this up, and uh, I hope you'll come back with me again next week.